Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're tuning in. My name is Travis Compton, and today, after a long hiatus, I'm coming at you guys with a Power BI quick tip. This is all about formatting your pie chart correctly. This basically, I got inspiration for this video because I created a pie chart uh, for or for my bosses at my job, and I had formatted it correctly. And in the meeting, they were like, "What the heck is wrong?" with this pie chart, what are you doing? I felt dumb, so don't be dumb like me, guys. Learn from my mistakes. This uh, pie chart I have here, this is the right way to format it. So unfortunately for us, just dropping your data into Power BI does not give you this. So let's see what it looks like first when you just drop your data in. I should first note that I'm using a video game sales data that I pulled off of Kaggle. I did partition the data, the uh, critic scores. I partitioned it into this uh, excellent, okay, and bad. Uh, just keep that in mind if you look at this data set. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So I'm just going to do a count of the critic ratings uh, based off of uh, the ratings. So I want to see how many okays there are, how many bads, and how many excellents. Uh, just for cleanup, I'm going to come and fix the data colors. The default colors, I think, are really bad. So I, I don't know why it shows them like that. So let's just make these look better visually to help us. Um, and this is what it shows. Uh, so when you just drop in the data, this is this is what we get. And this is exactly what I turned in or eventually showed my bosses in the meeting. Uh, that was incorrect. And I didn't know that. So what do you do to fix this? Uh, you can come down here to your more options, a little ellipses, and we have a couple sort options. So it's automatically sort, sorting descending, and then you can go sort by, sorting descending, critic rate, uh, excuse me, sorting descending, and then by the count. So we can try to mess with these to see what it looks like. We, we switch it to be sorting by the, not the count anymore, but the rating, which doesn't help. We can come by here, maybe sort ascending. Uh, that doesn't help. Uh, come back again. This is what we originally had. Maybe, uh, okay, none of these work. We're, we're back to the original. So all our options failed us. So what do you got to do at this point? Well, if you looked, if paid attention to the legend over here, you can actually see that you have to set uh, your variables essentially by this one, two, and three. You could also use A, B, and C, whichever you prefer. But when you're partitioning your data, you're gonna to need to add in these uh, kind of labels, uh, so to speak, to uh, set them properly. I have a little bit of code here. Obviously, this is the SQL code that I used uh, to first partition the data. And then obviously, you just come and do an update again to just put a one in front of that excellent. Uh, obviously, if you're using Excel, the code is very similar. It's just an if statement, uh, basically the same exact thing here. Okay, so let's go back into Power BI. Let's assume we have our new uh, data that's uh, partitioned out correctly. So we'll come in here, grab the critic rating, drop it in our values, drop it in our legend, fix the colors. Probably one of the worst color combinations, but that's okay. We can easily fix it. Okay. Uh, now that we've done that, you can still see that even though we've made these uh, or set kind of our variables, or set the order, it still drops in the exact same. So we're still gonna have to go back to our more options here. We're going to sort by critic rating. Okay, this is looking good. You should probably see where I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna sort it ascending. And there we go. This is formatted correctly. This is the way to do it. Turn this into your bosses. Don't turn this into them because they'll wonder what's wrong with you and wonder if you're a professional. Uh, and a lot of people, they don't like pie charts. I, I think that's, you know, I get it. Uh, I, kind of when I was learning about visualizations, essentially pie charts were condemned because they, they didn't think they accurately portrayed data. But kind of the rule of thumb that I've always been told is that as long as there are less than six variables, you're good to go. And obviously, if you fix the colors properly. And personally, you know, I'm not a big fan of the pie chart. I'm really more of a donut chart type of guy. I don't think the world is quite ready for it yet. Uh, and then one last thing, obviously this works with histograms as well. Uh, obviously if you wanted to list your variables in a particular way on your histograms, this is also how you do it. So hopefully this helps some of you guys. Don't make these same mistakes in school or at your job. Uh, I hope to come out with a lot more quick videos quite like, uh, like this that I've run into at work. 
I, I'm no Power BI expert, but I do use it a lot. So I run into a lot of things that uh, should seem simple, but are not as simple <laughs> as you would hope. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. I do appreciate it. Y'all have a good rest of your morning, night, or afternoon, wherever you're coming from. Bye.